Hello fam, welcome to Vlogmas Day number 15. love oatmeal. Do anybody else kids love oatmeal? My kids love oatmeal. It's like I say, okay, you know, I'm going to get up and fix them a big breakfast and, you know, my kids don't want that. Now they will because like, y'all see I buy the French toast sticks and they like French toast sticks but not necessarily wanting them for breakfast. They'll want them for lunch or for a snack. Y'all can't see or something. So they don't ever want them for breakfast. They either want oatmeal or cereal. You might even be able to convince them to have uh, pancakes for breakfast. But very seldom do they want that. 
My kids actually want cereal and oatmeal. But I just want to talk to y'all. Um, I'm going to be a little transparent. <laughs> I don't know if y'all have noticed a little difference between this year and last year for me, but I'm not really in the Christmas spirit this year. Yeah, I said it. I'm not really in the Christmas spirit. I mean, yeah, I have a tree. But honestly, like I said, I'm being being honest. And the only reason that I have that tree up right now is because of my children. I mean, I I know the reason for the season. Um, I was raised to know the reason for the season. Um, and I'm grateful, you know. I'm grateful that I am in the land of the living to be able to celebrate the birth of Christ. Um, my family, we leave our um, Christmas tree up until after old Christmas. If you don't know what old Christmas is, you go ahead and research that. People call it old Christmas, but the birth, the actual birth of Christ. Um, some people call it Christmas is the actual birth of Christ. Some people call old Christmas the actual birth of Christ. I'm not going to go either way because I don't want to get into that discussion with you or nobody else. But that's just what we do. We've always left our tree up to after old Christmas. Primarily because, I mean, if you think about it, you want to make sure you celebrate anything that is associated with the birth of Christ. We do. So, anywho. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. To be honest, I haven't even went Christmas shopping. Um, I just started yesterday. Uh try to decide what I was going to get the kids for Christmas. And, um, I don't know. Um, I do know that, um, a lot of things put a little damper on Christmas for me, primarily because, um, you know, they took my husband, um, they told, they told him he had to leave on Friday. They told him that he would be leaving on Saturday. So they literally gave him just hours to get prepared and packed to leave for a month or so. That was a little bit depressing. Um, not just for me, but because I know that now, you know, when you are in the predicament that I'm in. I'm like a lot of military women will understand. Um, a lot of um, overseas contracting um, wives will understand that you basically go from being a two parent household to a one and everything's on you and there's really nothing you can do about it. And it was like, I mean, we knew that he was going to be going soon, but I didn't expect that it would be that soon, especially Christmas is here and he's gone for Christmas and New Year's and probably longer than that. Um, and then on top of that, the problem with him being gone is not just the fact that he's gone. It's the fact that he's um, in a whole different time zone. So there is a three hour difference. And y'all may think that might be small, which it is. But it, it's kind of in the way because it makes it hard for him to be able to talk to his kids. Um, Mike and Fatima are six and they have a bedtime. And... For my sanity and their sanity and their, um, excuse me, I keep the camera, 
and you know to make sure that they get enough sleep at night I make them go to bed at a certain time and by the time he is off from work they're asleep so if y'all hear something in the background it sounds like swishing I'm washing but um yeah so it's like in the morning <laughs> in the morning when they get up for school it's like, um, I want to say they get up for school at 7. It's 4 o'clock in the morning there, which is, he doesn't get up until, I want to say, 5. So, I mean, he's still trying to get used to the time difference. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, a couple of days he will start trying to call, you know, for them to be able to see him before but it's kind of ranky on your body too when you're not used to the time difference. He's constantly like, what time is it? What time is it now? Now, I do get to talk to him because I can talk to him during his lunch break, um, you know, but, and um, he can't be on the phones. He can't, you know, do video chat where he works. None of that. Everything is, you know, protected. So, um, on the weekends is when he is talking to them, which makes it difficult. <laughs> so, y'all pray for him. He misses his family. We miss him. Um, so, yeah. I mean, that kind of put a damper on everything because I'm like, wow, this is the first Christmas my kids have to go and be without their dad. You know, I've been through it, like I said before, but they haven't. So that's kind of daunting. Um, other than that, I just, I mean, even before he left, I was still feeling like, ugh. you know, I'm just hoping that maybe I can do something to lift my spirits, you know, but no matter how I feel, I'm going to make sure that my kids are good. I'm going to make sure that they have a happy holiday. I'm going to make sure that my family has a happy holiday. I believe my family's coming over here Christmas um, evening. So that'll be great. Um, so, I mean, I'm sure I'll snap into it eventually. I still got a few days. I mean, you know. Happy Vlogmas Day number 15. <laughs> but yeah, I still have a few days to go. Um, we go get Morgan. We leave at... I want to say we'll probably leave after the twins get on the bus. Primarily because the hotel that we usually stay at, their check-in isn't until 11. So if we get there super duper early, then we're going to have to be sitting waiting. You know, and why not go at a comfortable hour? We don't have to travel in the middle of the night. You know, or like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning like we did before, trying to get there at a certain time. We don't have to do that. So we actually can get a restful night's sleep, get in the car, drive there, you know what I'm saying, and um, be comfortable. Not have to be like, oh my God, I'm going to drive the first three because I'm sleeping, and then you go going to drive the last three, you go to sleep. Now. We don't have to do that. So we'll be good on that aspect because we're going to leave. Um tomorrow after the kids get on the bus um my sister will be here with them while we're gone and we're going to stay overnight and we're going to come back because it's real difficult driving in those mountains at night and there's almost always fog at night and in the morning almost always like plague type fog like you can see that stuff billowing in and it's and it's almost to the point where you can't even see how long i've been talking to y'all 10 minutes mm. excuse me anybody else here to talk to tired of talking kid talk y'all no i'm joking but yeah so just to keep that down like we'll probably um leave on the 17th um, we'll probably get up at nine and then head back this way and be back, you know, in plenty of sunlight. That way, we're traveling in sunlight. We're coming back in sunlight. It's hard traveling in those mountains. And a lot of the streets throughout the mountains don't have lights. So, 
you can't see it. You're basically high beaming it. And you know that's not safe. So, yeah. But y'all gonna be there. Y'all always there with me when I go to see Morgan or get Morgan. Y'all know our road trips, don't you? Y'all used to them road trips. Well, get used to them. That's all I'm gonna say. Get used to them. Hey, y'all. Every time I drink out of my cup, I think about myself. Y'all see it? <laughs> Every time I drink out of my cup, I think about what I say. Hey, y'all, I drink. The reason this cup looks so horrible is because I drink out of this cup every day. After I drink out of it, I wash it every day. And I drink out of it. Marcel hates my cup. He's like, ma, can you at least pull the... I can't. I mean, it doesn't come off. It comes off with wear. But it's not like I can pull it off in a sheet. If so, I would have. But I don't know how to get it off. But I love this cup. This cup keeps my coffee warm for a long time. I like a regular coffee cup. I mean, I love regular coffee cups. They're so stinking cute. But for an avid coffee drinker, I think you need something like this to keep, keep it warm. But, um, you know, when you're having a little cup of coffee with your neighbor, you can have your cute little coffee cups, I guess. But anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing, stop talking to y'all, because I can sit here and talk to y'all all day, all day long. Yes, I can, but I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it. But, um, yeah, I will holler at you guys in a little bit. I made some party wings. And I'm dividing them up in between these two things because I bought some buffalo wild wing sauce. I made some, a little bit of string beans. Can y'all see that? I don't have no light on in here. A little bit of string beans and some white rice. And y'all know we got, we showed y'all we got the good old yum yum sauce on that. But um, I'm going to take these out of here and put them in here. And then we're going to shake them with this. Hold tight, baby. So I got two containers right here of the wings. And y'all, these wings are seasoned. I don't even really need this sauce. This way is the Parmesan garlic from Buffalo. The best one. That's what it look like. See all the little bits and pieces? So... It comes with a tab, so I just pull that off. Sit that lot down. It's kind of thick. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna just pour. It's like a dressing. Probably not much. Probably maybe a third of a cup. I don't think you need that much. Not for that little bit of way. Let me see, is that I'm just going to take my top and put it on it. Let it marinate overnight. I know I'm just, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> and these wings were baked. They were not fried. And they're still hot. I'm at the bottom, so you know that mean it didn't get down there. And it's all on the sides and the top. Let's see what we're looking like. Yeah, y'all see that? Unacceptable. You crazy. Now let's do the other one. The other one is this right here, which is the honey barbecue. So let's open that one up. Of course, you know, we got to take the little towel and put about the same amount. Let me shake it up a little bit. All right, 
this one a little looser than that. So we're going to probably that much should be enough. I don't really, I don't think you really need that. Why well, you need more than that? I don't think so. You think so? Yes. I don't want it like soaking, sopping okay. wet. We can always add some more. So these have vent tops, so I'm going to just let the vent open. Wait, close the vent. It ain't nothing getting on you. No, I'm just saying. Why? Why would you open the vent while you're shaking it? I need it more. I ain't need no more, boy. That's not enough. It's plenty. That is not enough. It's on the bottom, ain't it, y'all? On the side. Not enough. That's because this sauce is looser than the other sauce. Nah, that ain't it. How much you want back? That ain't oh, it. Y'all looking? It's plenty of sauce on these wings. That ain't it. Chief. Look at that, y'all. It's like you put water plenty. on. Plenty. It's like you put water you on. Y'all lie. Look at these wings. They look good in it. Even worse. You crazy. What's up? Be serious. Do it look good. Oh. I think so. Mommy. Let me see. Can y'all get a closer look? Mommy. My lighting. I ain't got my, um, here we go. I don't have my little lighting no. set up. Y'all see that? Y'all heard the twins being worse? Mm-hmm. That's their use. Now let's look at the garlic. Oh Lord, I done shook that one off the bone. Y'all see that? These wings must be awfully tender. I done shook them drinks off the bone, baby. All right. And of course, I told y'all I got a little bit of, okay, I said some string beans and some white rice. Yes, it looks weird in here, y'all, because my lighting hooked up my lighting is not hooked up this board right here i know some of y'all been asking about this board this is the board that i put my own affirmations on i put them up here to save me because sometimes you feeling low and you got to encourage yourself so this is how i encourage myself and encourage my family members and when i don't change it for a day this one right here notices he's like ma you ain't right on the board today he notices when I write on this board and everybody in this house notices that I write on this board. I usually kind of write it like every night or if I'm feeling like overwhelmed this is the way I talk to myself I write something on this board so let me show y'all what's up here now this board right now I don't know if y'all can see that it says timeouts are okay take a break for your own mental health so whenever at that particular time, I was feeling a little overwhelmed, so I had to remind myself that taking a time out is okay. Take a break for myself, for my mental health. It's okay to do it. So that's the way that I that I encourage myself and speak to myself and <laughs> keep saying. So now, you ready to eat? You are for real? I don't think the twins ready to eat. I know one day I'm super thirsty. I'll just take this. <laughs> no, you will not. No, you will not. All I want is garlic parm. Well, you can't have all the garlic parm. You not? You don't even like garlic parm. Yes, I do. I eat it with daddy. Since when you? I don't even like it. Like no, I didn't. Yes, you did. He just trying to say that because he want all of them. He not getting all the wings. That's thirty wings, and you're Sorry. not gonna sit and eat fifteen. It's enough for me, you, and the twins. I eat that when I go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, I mean, you're not going to eat that here, Buffalo Wild Wings. It is Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, you're not going to eat Buffalo Wild Wings here. And we got the yum yum good back there. Back where? Back there. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I'm about to say. Y'all. Y'all help me with this thing right here. Y'all. <laughs> and I don't know what I Mike hold on alright I'll be back y'all alright y'all here's my food this right here is the those right there is the garlic parmesan wings and those are the honey barbecue, a little bit of string beans, some rice with some yum yum. Mm. 
Can y'all stop fighting? Y'all help me. I'm eating with a spoon. Like a little kid. Y'all need to get y'all some rice with the yum yum sauce. Mm -hmm. Here's a honey barbecue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This sauce banging. Mm -hmm. Y'all better get y'all some. And I bake these wings. Mm -hmm. Every week they have a different or probably not every week. Probably every um time they run out they order a different flavor. I should have got the um the Asian zing when I saw it. But I didn't. Mm, I only need a chicken. I'm a sides person, y'all. I love sides. Well, y'all, a girl is tired. I am tired. Tired, tired, tired. I have to go tomorrow and pick up Morgan. I'm going to pick up Morgan tomorrow. I'm not going to try or even attempt what I did the last time. And that was drive there, turn around and drive back. Hold on, somebody's at my door. Come in. What do you want? Um, can I have... Close my door. Y'all, these kids, she going to pay in the morning. She gonna pay. It's gonna be hard as I don't know what to get her up for school, but she going. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end my vlog. I'm tired. I've been up preparing to go see this girl. We're gonna go up there tonight. I mean, excuse me, we'll go up there tomorrow and we're gonna stay, you know. We'll probably get there maybe around four-ish. And then we'll probably get rested up and pull back out first thing in the morning on Tuesday morning. And probably be back here around about four ish. So, anyway, of course, y'all know y'all gonna see me in the car tomorrow. My favorite place to be. Seems like that's the only place I am here lately, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, get in the bed. Get in the bed. Somebody outside jamming. I don't know what they're doing, but they need to go to bed too. It is about. Mm, I want to say it's about 10. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and turn in, get me some rest, and get up to my morning and go get this girl. So, yeah, we'll be seeing Morgs tomorrow. And she's going to be home for a whole month. I'm so glad I get my baby for Christmas and New Year's. Yeah. Her daddy's a little sad because he don't get to see her. He don't get to see any of us, but is what it is at least i have my my boo boos here with me but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and call it a night make sure you like share and subscribe hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of any upcoming videos if there's anything that you would like to tell me you like to see you would like for us to do go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and we'll do our best to get to it i do have some questions that people have been asking me and maybe i'll answer them tomorrow as you know i'm traveling or whatever but marcel will be going with me so y'all get to say see his crazy butt tomorrow too but anyway, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.